I can remember starting at university uh, many years ago and just being intrigued by the United States in that it, it has a constitution that says and a declaration of independence that affirms that everyone is equal on the one hand, but there is a clause in the constitution that says African-Americans are worth three-fifths of a person. And just that central paradox uh, has kept me going now for the best part of 20 years. Questions associated with that. Well, what does it mean to be a human being? What does it mean to be free and equal? Why aren't people free and equal? And how do they get to be free and equal? Race Resistance is a course that traces power, violence um, of race itself and resistances to that. So it looks in particular at, for instance, decolonisation process in, in, uh, in Africa. It looked at the civil rights movement in the United States. It asks about questions of the legitimacy of violence as resistance. It looks at the way in which racism is violent in and of itself, not just in terms of its practices, but its language and the way in which it constructs a notion of the other, uh, one which is always up for resisting against. But at some particular periods, like decolonisation, the civil rights movement, uh, contemporary Palestine, uh, we see very particular types of resistance. So we're interested in following those resistances and seeing what they can tell us about resistance and indeed about race itself. It's a two-year option pathway and we start with a about six weeks thinking about what is race, constructions of the, of the concept of race, race and nationality. Is, is your race the same as your, your national identity, for instance? Is race the same as ethnicity? Then we think about... Uh, the, the, the historic development of the concept of race, the way it developed. What we want and what's at the centre of what we do here is to give you the skills to be a critical thinker. Um, and from my point of view, the idea of the way in which race functions in this society to create um, systems in which certain people are seen as lesser than others and the fact that that has been so powerful and yet at the same time so mutable in history um, that's extremely important to understand to negotiate the society in which we live. Uh, what is the best way to resist uh, a colonial regime? What is the best way to resist racism in the United States? Is it to work with the racists? Uh, show your worth? through good works, through, in one sense, accommodating the bigotry and transcending it. Is that the best way to proceed? Or should you mount a non-violent campaign of civil disobedience? Or should you mount a militant campaign of armed resistance? And those questions about how you respond and what the responses do to the people who are responding uh, uh, is something that we look at, not just in the United States, but also, for instance, in Algeria, um, in Africa. Northern Ireland and elsewhere.